All right, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kohalo Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son. His name is Yahweh, okay? His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, which he is the deliverer of the children of Israel, okay? We give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this knowledge through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And then, um, you know, salutation to you brothers that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right. And um, here's a quick video. It's based off an article. Um, and I had a few precepts that I wanted to bring out. But uh, this article is from Blacklisted News. This is from February the 5th, 2020. Yeah, 2020, 2020, the year of prophecy. OK. And basically, this is the imagination of Esau and the heathen. As you can see, it says uh, a new space race, U.S., China, Russia, and Europe, all planned for moon bases, okay? Now, uh, the first scripture I'll bring out based on this is, uh, this is Psalms 2 and 1. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord's anointed and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Okay. So the Lord's going to have them in derision. Because they, they, they really want to build up this space, space force uh, to fight against the Lord. Okay. And this is part of them imagining a vain thing. Okay. And when you go into the word imagine in the Hebrew. Okay. The word is uh, Haggah. Okay, you have a ha, you have a ga, and it got another ha. Okay. And uh the word means it says down here it says to moan, growl, utter, muse, mutter, meditate, devise, plot, speak. Okay, and what are they doing? They're they're devising, okay, and they're plotting on how they're gonna come up against the Lord, okay, which is them imagining a vain thing because the Lord sitteth in the heavens and he's laughing at them. OK, he's letting you basically build up your space force and you, you plan on building your uh, uh, base on the moon. OK, which is we'll see how that goes, <laughs> but it ain't going to go too far because uh, your time is almost up, according to the scriptures. Now, Aaron Kessel wrote this. I don't know what uh, what source of uh, news he's from or what what he writes. Uh, but it says, um. One year ago in January, a Chinese robot landed on the dark side of the moon. Since then, the Chang the Chang 4 probe and the U-2 2 rover it carried on board have been busy photographing and scanning materials, growing yeast, hatching fruit fly eggs, and cultivating cotton, potatoes, and rape seeds in the moon's low gravity, according to the Daily Beast. All right, well, do we know if this is true or not? Okay, probably not. It's probably propaganda because these countries have different propaganda wars um, that they play out. They want to make themselves look bigger than what they are, are actually. This is now China's National Space Administration is quietly planning to launch yet another probe into space. Chang's 5 could blast off as early as this year. Last year, TMU reported that the U-2 U rover came across a strange gel-like substance, which the Chinese began to study extensively. The Chinese space agency has continued to work on its Tiagong-3 space station and is planning on testing a new manned spacecraft for deep space missions that permanently station it says that permanent station will reach orbit abroad, abroad the country's new Long March 5B rocket in the first half of 2020, AFP reported. Uh, it says uh, the mission will not be associated with the International Space Station. It is worth noting that China and Europe both plan on building a moon base together in a move of international collaboration back in 2017 Europe and Russia are also eyeing plans to send a probe to the dark side of the moon to determine 
if they should build a moon base on the far side of the lunar surface. And the U.S. hasn't been quiet when it comes to the space race either, with the introduction of the Space Force and plans of its own for a joint base with Russia. It says for the U.S., this space race to build a moon base is nothing new. A project known as Horizon was supposedly a plan drawn up in the 1950s that seemingly depicts the blueprint for the base on the moon. Project Horizon sought to establish a stationary army control base on the moon by 1966, but the operation was allegedly shut down and canceled, and the idea never materialized further. Okay, so you know, this is going into these countries. I'm not going to read the whole thing real quick, I just wanted to uh, bring out some precepts. But you know, um, these are uh, different countries are planning on they, 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 they basically uh, uh imagining. Uh, something that they want to do with the Lord is get ready to take them out. So I'm going to bring these few scriptures out and uh, I'm not going to make this video too long. But this is uh, Obadiah uh, 1 and 4 it says, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. And it's talking about the Edomites because what is their uh, main uh, animal that they use? The eagle. OK, this is though thou exalt thyself as the eagle and though thou set thy nest among the stars. And what is them setting their nest among the stars? Those different um, uh, uh, space bases that they have. Okay, that, that's them setting their nest among the stars. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. So the Lord is going to bring them down. Okay, because they set their nest against the stars. So they, they're, pull, they're pouring internationally these uh, China, Russia, the European nations, America. They're investing billions upon billions of dollars into setting their nest amongst the stars and the Lord is going to bring them down according to the book of Obadiah 1, uh, 1 and 4. Okay, this is the next precept. This is Amos 9 and, 9 and 1. It says, I saw the Lord standing upon the altar and he said, smite the lintel of the door that the post may shake and cut them off. I mean, cut them in the head, all of them. And I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away. And he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. So the Lord is getting ready to bring them down. Okay, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Al-Shah, ultimately going to bring them down. They could, they could dig into hell. They could dig into the ground. Okay, and try to hide down in, in these underground um, bases, in these underground cities that they've built. Or they could create made uh, uh cities like you see in these some of these movies in space okay but the lord is going to bring them down all right and they just imagine it a vain thing okay real quick it says um let me let me go down here real quick i'm gonna read down it says uh this plan challenges our current capabilities in human space flight and will benefit from engagement by multiple countries in the U.S. industry, NASA officials said in a statement at the time. NASA also has plan plans leaked last year that they want wanted to develop their own lunar surface base, which is now being threatened by a U.S. House panel. The status of the plan between Russia and the U.S., as well as China and Europe, are currently public and either could be canceled for reasons of political tensions or something else before they see the light of day. China and the United States, Russia and Europe are all discussing whether to build a research base or a research station on the moon. Wu Yanhug, Yang Hu, Deputy Chief Commander of China's Lunar Exploration Program said, the bigger worry isn't space exploration, it is weaponizing space. The New York Times reported in 2015, that space could be the next war zone. Warning about the implicate. Warning about the implica implications, Shalakia, of weaponizing space in an opinion piece, literally titled "Preventing a Space War." So, and the Lord is getting ready to have these countries fight against each other. And um, according to prophecy, the Europeans are going to shoot missiles on America. Okay, the Russians, the Chinese. So, really, this is not going to go too far through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh But this is a part of, this is an example of the heathen, 
Okay, imagining a vain thing. Okay, they want they want their jockeying for uh the rulership seat. But Yahweh Bashim Yahusha have them in a trick bag. They're gonna he's gonna have them in derision. Okay, so with that, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Kakwadash, double honesty, apostles and elders of great millstone, and salutation to you brothers that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Okay, until the next episode, Shalom.